wanted to know about the issues that we face during Chandrayaan 2 and how we are mm -hmm. circumvented or solved those issues in Chandrayaan 3. Right. See, Chandrayaan 2 was hugely very good uh, until its last phase of its landing where we could not achieve the soft landing. It landed with a higher velocity. So that we call it as crash landing. So if you look at the overall scheme of things of reaching up to the moon, I think we have perfected it already. We have done it one time in Chandrayaan 1, second time in Chandrayaan 2, also did it in Mars orbiter mission. So there is no ambiguity. But the, and capturing the moon uh, orbit uh, as well as reducing to 100 kilometer orbit was also perfect. And, and we, were able, we were trying to target a landing in a particular spot at closer to the South Pole, that is 70 degree to the South Pole. And in that doing so, we faced certain challenges. The primary issues were, uh, one, that we had a, an engine, there were five engines which was used to for giving the reduction of the velocities called the retardation. These engines developed little higher thrust than that was expected. It was on the higher side, but it was still within the specifications. But when such a higher thrust was happening, we were, uh, the errors on account of this differential was accumulated over some period. It was called a camera coasting phase on the last phase of it. Mm. During this time, the craft is supposed to be very steady to take pictures. So we can correct it at that time. So because of that period where it was not corrected, we did started correcting only at the end of it. When all the errors got accumulated, which was slightly higher than what we expected, the craft had to take, make very fast turns. Mm -hmm. And when it started turning very fast, its ability to turn was limited by the software because we never expected such high rates to come. So this was the second issue. The third issue is it is yet to reach a uh, landing point which is still far away. Hmm. And we asked the craft to land only in high 500 meter by 500 meter area. And the craft is trying to reach there by increasing velocity to reach there, whereas it was not having enough time to, uh, it was almost close to the uh, flow, uh, ground. So there was a contradictory requirement of reaching to the exact spot and uh, and uh, at the same time achieve a low velocity. It became mathematically difficult for it to do it in the available time. So finally, when it actually did it, it was fell short of almost a half a kilometer and the velocity of touch was higher. So it is fundamentally, there were issues in terms of the approaches that, uh, that was taken, how to correct the engine thrust dispersion by uh, accumulating errors over a period of time artificially limiting the ability of the vehicle to take turns and correction and the ability to calculate time to reach the required spot and also telling to land at the exact required spot instead of landing wherever it you can safely land. So we found that we need to study this in greater detail to understand that we must give more flexibility to the craft to handle dispersions essentially. So ability, to, so in nutshell if you ask, tell what was the problem in Chandrayaan 2, the, it is simple to say that the ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. Look at what are things that can go wrong. So we instead of success based design in Chandrayaan 2, we are doing a failure based design in Chandrayaan 3. What all can fail and how to protect it. So this is the approach that we are taken. So for that we did many things. One, we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer. 4 kilometer along the track and 2.5 kilometer width. Anywhere it can land. So it doesn't limit you to target a specific point. It will target a specific point only in nominal conditions. 4 by 2.5.